A lot of kids are going to be going back to school uh, next Tuesday. Some are already back in the classroom, and there's a group of them that are going to have a really unique classroom experience when they return. Yeah, but this classroom actually sits on wheels, and it is parked at one end of St. Paul's Home and Field. It is called the Learning Jet, and it is a retired Boeing 727 that once hauled packages for Federal Express. And now, as Bill Hudson shows us, the cargo plane is getting a complete makeover to help teach kids about the miracle of flight. Left the cargo door in operation here. Steve Herbitz feels like a kid again, turning a mode of transport into one for teaching. On a Holman Field tarmac sits the retired Boeing 727, now a classroom. We're going to tell the kid to find a rib number, find a, a stringer, find a hydraulic line, whatever. With a whine and a roar, the FedEx jet landed last October. Making it a safe place for kids, though, meant paneling floors and walls, installing lighting and chairs. Yet a few chairs won't change. Other than the plane's three engines and landing gear, this cockpit is fully functional. The whole point is to bring students up here so that they can get the feel of flight. For our knowledge, it's the first of its kind in the United States. Cindy Schreiber helped draft the curriculum at Farnsworth Aerospace School. Adding an actual jet will make lessons in science, technology, engineering, and math come alive. It's a, a tremendous experience for these students to be able to actually see and be on a jet. For so many of them, never even have that opportunity. In a classroom where daydreaming of flight is all part of the plan. That is so cool. It is. I'm, I'm excited for those kids. That's yeah. a great opportunity. Well, the learning jet should be able to accept its first students sometime in October.